Don't you understand? Thornton and I, we chip in $300 and we make $2,000. $2,000, Alice. That's big, big, big. This is probably the biggest thing I ever got into. The biggest thing you ever got into was your pants. <laughs> Alice and Ralph Cramden, the honeymooners. Being a Weisenheimer, Alice. Bickering long before Edith and Archie Bunker. It was kitchen sink drama played for laughs. Are you going to give me the money? No. There were many uh, Cramdens in Brooklyn. Uh, almost everybody was a Cramden in this particular neighborhood that I lived in. And Pretty lousy husband. <laughs> well, no, not really, Morley. When you think of him, the poor soul uh, hasn't got a hell of a lot of ability. But he keeps trying. He gets schemes, and his schemes are all to make he and Alice happy. Why is this show as successful now, practically, in reruns as it was the first time round? There are only 39 shows. I could give you uh, 20 academic answers to that. No, no, no. But give the me one, it, answer. it's funny. The golf swing. First, step up. Plant your feet firmly on the ground and address the ball. How much of the success was due to Norton? What do they mean by address the ball? I say 90%. I'll give him 90%. He's just great. He was wonderful. Step up. Plant your feet firmly. Hello, boy. Out of the blue, Jackie Gleason decided he didn't want to do the show in New York. He wanted to do it in Miami. When we're doing the honeymooners, I had a, a big contract for that for two years. And after the first year, I said I didn't want to do it, and they didn't believe me. They thought I had a job somewhere else. And finally, they realized that I just didn't want to do it. And uh, when they approached me to do another show, I was in California making a picture, and I said, all right. I said, but I want a train that goes to Florida, because I had come down here and played golf and liked it, and I figured, might as well go to Florida and do the show, play golf all the time. And they went for it. What was on that train? Everything. We had two Dixieland bands come from California. They would spell each other. I'd say, don't take five miles. <laughs> and uh, parties went on 24. I found out that I couldn't attend the were, parties. Were there girls on that train? Were there girls? <laughs> there certainly were. <laughs> And they were very, very nice girls. Nothing untoward happened. Might have been because the berths were too small, but regardless of that, nothing happened on that trip. And was there a bar on that train? A bar on the train was a bar. I guess that's a classic example of what clout is. Yes. To say, a train, please. That's right. When you've got good ratings, and you're one, two, or three in the ratings, uh, there is nothing your little heart desires that they don't provide. Doesn't work that way anymore, Mr. Blazon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you have a comedy show? Tell me something. The Great One, where did that come from? Well, Orson Welles called me The Great One first. And then Lucy started to call me that. And uh, I'm really not offended by it. Did you ever really believe it? You just saw me play pool, didn't you? <laughs>